And welcome back to DMM Megzy Plays Psychonauts. In the last episode, we beat up a fish and avoided getting caught in water for the most part. In this episode, we're going to go into start actually going into one of my favorite worlds in the game. This is actually the part of the game where I consider um, it to not be the much of a tutorial part because they really don't babysit you anymore after at this point. And still with me is MJ Tamixter who may or may not be disappearing yep. slightly. <laughs> who knows? Anyway. We shall see. We shall see. Hi, fish. Meet door. We stole Sasha's door and we're throwing it on people's faces. Do -do 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 -do. Such a bad person stealing doors. Well, Sasha didn't bring take it with him. It's his own fault. And now, I will probably start making my hero voice. Or my monster voice, depending. <laughs> because this is everybody's dream. And some people regard this as the best world in the game. Aside from the fact that it looks like a big awesome city, right? How are you today? Oh, damp and happy. Wait, is this and Fishopolis? And what are yes, you this is one Fishopolis. On this lovely day. Oh, just obeying God. the law as always. All posted. I don't know why the fish are so. Ah, or one Not slightly Scottish. Sure. And they're still of eyes with little top hats and sombreros. <laughs> that is right, people. I. Sense. I am Gogglebore. I can't. Gogglelore? I am Gogglelore. Really? So, the premise with this world, you are a giant <laughs> effing monster in a city that kind of resembles Tokyo. <laughs> or some type of like, uh... Go, go, Godzilla. Yep, Godzilla. You could s This is- You can punch everything in this world. And <gasps> it will break. All the- Most of- most of the buildings will break. You can step on cars. You can step on the people. You can knock over trees. Yay! So, and also you can climb buildings. The only downside to this is they actually treat this like you're a heavily weighted person. So, this means levitation does not work in this in this entire map. And the water thing still applies, but just not right now because the water's not that deep. Once you get to deep water, the water stuff does apply. But now I'm just punching all the buildings. I missed the orphanage! Well, I better try harder. <laughs> Especially since the people, like, talk about stuff. Hey, Gogalore! Down here! Hi, little Excuse fish. Excuse me. Were you talking to me? Ah, ow, my ears! He oh whispered, man. Are you okay? <laughs> He's dead. Don't I killed a man with my voice. Worry. Every member of the resistance is prepared <gasps> to die fighting the tyranny of Kochamara. What's Kochamara? He's a giant monster like you, Gogalor. He brainwashed and enslaved almost everyone in Lungfishopolis. That stinks. <laughs> so hey, have you seen any other humans around here? I'm looking for a girl called Lily. The government archives might have some information about your young girlfriend, Gogalore. Yeah, I don't know if she's really my girlfriend. I mean, I think she. I only meant that she is your friend who was a girl, Gogalore. Good job. To and that guy archives, twitched. We must first destroy the broadcast tower Kochamara uses to control the populace. You punch him again. Check. I'll go He's smash too that tiny. Guy. Wait, Gogalore. In order to reach the tower, you'll need to pass through that wall of lasers. But you'll never make it through lasers. the lasers without our help. So are you gonna start helping soon? First, I need you to do something for the resistance. Punch a hole in that prison and free my comrades. So, I'm automatically now the bad guy, and cars are crashing into the back of my feet. So now I have to break open this prison Freedom! and free the resistance Freedom! that I actually have no real ties to. Now, how about getting me past those gates? Right. We stole this doesn't the sound like a good idea. From Coach Amara. And this is how you start operate, getting abilities. Should work for you. We just got uh, one of our new abilities, which is actually the ability we need to get we needed to get for the minor skull, which is shield.
shield is an awesome ability. Hey, sure sounds. Is this like gonna it. upset Cochamera and all your little brainwashed neighbors? No, I doubt it. No, no, no. No, it's so not gonna upset anybody. Going to prison and then breaking this laser shield thing. Nobody's gonna get mad about that and start shooting at me. No. Uh, maybe one guy would. But what is even an entire navy of lungfish against the might and revolutionary zeal of Gogalore? So, what navy? Meet There's an Navy? The dam, Gagalor, for freedom! Why are they gonna bring they the shooting at you? Not yet. Why are they gonna bring the Navy after me when there's really no water? They just need to bring the Army and the Air Force. That's okay. Oh, I don't have the tag for this. Ah, oh, fuck these. The peaceful city of Lungfish so, I usually skip these, but I'm not going to because I told myself I wasn't going to. <laughs> They're gonna start having random TV broadcasts telling us of new enemies that are entering the area. It's kind of a cool quirk. Everything will return to normal or better. Kidnapping human children is good. Kidnapping human children is bad because that makes me mad at you guys. Oops, I stepped on a person. You're supposed to punch them first. Well, okay, now they actually are gonna start sending tanks after me. At least oh the, these are the tanks that don't have homing missiles. Ooh, I leveled up to rank 45. And now this means I have the new thermal detonation for pyrokinesis, which means I make a massive explosion when setting something on fire. Wait, Which wouldn't it, that you set you on fire, though? No, it sets the ground on fire, and anything that walks into it is set on fire. Which is awesome, but I'm not gonna use it now, because using it to take out these tanks is kind of annoying. Because the tanks have a faster reload charge than me. And I'm tearing down most of these buildings just so I could see when I'm missing stuff. And having magnet the magnet ability by now is like one of the better things to do just because or earlier well by well by now just because when you break buildings instead of having to go running after crap because you're actually really slow as a giant heaping guy hey no stop it Oh, I should actually set shield. That probably would be a good idea. Yeah, because the abilities that when you get them now, they actually are useful in the world that you get them. So, shield is really useful here, obviously. Especially since they were just talking about giant heaping lasers. Which I'm not going to go quite into just yet. And I know that it would be tempting, but not yet. Alright. Thank you. And now we're gonna go into the laser. Yes, I'm going to fight. Now the lasers will actually activate... Oops, shit. My bad, I didn't activate them quick enough. You use your shield to kill all the lasers, and now we're actually going to the big people prison. Hi, tanks! The big people prison? Well, the big, the big prison. There's actually a bigger prison than the prison that I was in earlier. Hey! Hey! We have we will have none of that. And now we will just go running through here. The one thing about this world is if you can see that down there, the tanks the um the uh the safes are all really small. Lungfish Lawfulish under siege Oh, they're all happy! What the hell's that? Oh, man. And it told them to make order and rules. And then I guess there's part of the resistance. Okay. Anyway. Oh, wow. We broke people out of jail again. Woohoo! Freedom, my fellow lungfish rebels! 
Wait, best. I'm not a lungfish. We were short on time, and he is good at smashing things. Just rebels, then. Look like much to mm. me. Come on, let's blow this joint. Hey, you're welcome. Yeah, you ungrateful bastards. He's the only pilot the resistance has, and he has an excellent plan. You guys are gonna go use that blimp. So put it into action. To do stuff. So that blimp actually is really helpful. That's how we get to the next area. But we're gonna break crap first. We're breaking the rest of this prison. Because I feel like it. Yay! Oh, there's yeah, a you get stuff. I need the purse tag here. Oh, I'm gonna have to do a lot of backtracking just because I'm actually getting a few things a little bit early. Or late, depending on how you wanna use that perspective. Um just because the bags are kinda spread out and you kinda have to venture around to go and get um them their tags. The water one is oh it's back this way. Hey! Stop shooting at me! I will smash you with my feet. I hear you, Tank. Who the hell are you? I don't have my shotgun. Wrong kind of tank. <laughs> Aww. Okay, take that. Is there another tank on that walkway? Yes, there is. Come here! I will fight you. I will fight you with my giant... Oh, you could pick him up? Oops. Apparently. <gasps> you can throw the tanks. You can pick him up and- I am not impervious to love! Hey! I am not impervious to love. You assholes are impervious to love. And I hear the new enemy that they're not gonna- Now they're now gonna tell us about. Well, things have gotten a little embarrassing for Gagalore. Embarrassing? Information has strongly linked the previously What's embarrassing? With common low-life criminals. Earlier tonight, Gagalore broke some of his jailhouse cronies out of the slammer so they could enjoy a night in the town, popping pills and soliciting inexpensive car girls. Well, they're in for one nasty hangover. Hey, Our we're gonna solicit inexpensive call girls? I ain't gonna be soliciting any inexpensive oh, call girls that are... That are, you know, totally just, um, having to do with, uh, hey, no. You're dead. I'm dead? Ow. I'm still very dead. No, I hate these stupid, um, the new types of tanks, just because they're a little bit of a pain in the ass to deal with. Because they're little bitches. And they just kind of stand there and fire at you. Although you do not have levitation, you still do have um, high jump. I mean, double jump. So, mm -hmm. I suggest at least trying to do double jump. Come on, catch that. Goggalore! I'm just gonna call you Goggalore for this entire episode, Raz. Goggalore! You must make this jump! Goggalore, please. This isn't even one of the bad ones yet. Okay, thank god. Okay, we I want to try to get as many figments here as I can. Hey! Screw Kochamara! Kochamara is fat! He's a fat, <laughs> withered up old man. In a one piece. Yeah, I went there. Where is the one piece? Up Coach Hammer's bum. <sighs> That's why they've never found it. <laughs>